In campaign 2018, the race for the highest office in the state is now set. On the Democrat side, J.B. Pritzker beat out the field of six candidates in the primary. His closest challengers, Daniel Biss and Chris Kennedy. And while Governor Bruce Rauner had a narrow victory over conservative challenger Jeannie Ives, CBS News Mike Puccinelli is live in St. Charles where the governor is making his first campaign stop in just a few hours. Good morning, Mike. Hi, Rich and Richer. That's how you can describe the two men vying to become the next governor of Illinois in what will likely be the most expensive gubernatorial race of all time. But first incumbent Governor Bruce Rauner had to fight off a challenge from his right. West Point grad Jeannie Ives argued that the private equity investor is a Republican in name only. Her message resonated with hundreds of thousands of voters. But in the end, Rauner defeated the Illinois House member by a few points, saying he'd heard the message of her supporters loud and clear. He then pivoted to the general election. The election in November will be a choice, a clear choice. A choice between someone who will stand up to the machine and someone who has long been part of it. Despite this defeat, I know the overwhelming majority of Illinoisans want change in Illinois. They want to change the political culture that has made us the worst run state in the nation. On the Democratic side, billionaire J.B. Pritzker cruised to victory on the back of the $70 million he pumped into his campaign. Pritzker defeated Senator Daniel Biss and developer Chris Kennedy. He says he'll balance the books in Illinois by replacing the state's flat tax with a progressive income tax. Let's institute a progressive income tax so that we can lower the tax burden on the middle class and those striving to get their... And experts say the race between Rauner and Pritzker could end up costing a mind-boggling $300 million. That for a job that pays less than 180 grand. Reporting live in St. Charles, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Aaron, Marissa. Mike, thank you.